Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. So I guess the secret to getting the best out of your Thermomix is to, not to write anything off. Um, my daughter, I went for tea at my daughter's place the other night and she was in a bit of a rush and she had one of these in the cupboard. Now I have never thought of cooking this in my Thermomix. To be really honest, I don't buy them. Um, and not because I don't like them, just because um, it's not something we eat a lot. Um, but anyway, so I thought I'd give it a go in the Thermomix and let's do it together. So we're going to do the stove top method, which is in a medium saucepan, Oh, I've given this a rinse, so it's it's a bit it's got a, it's a bit wet, but it's not um, dirty. It's just add. So it's going to be manual cooking. So we're going to go across, and we're going to weigh our ingredients in. So we're going to use the scales, um, and it says to add um, three hundred and ten mils of water. So. 310 mils of water is 310 grams. So we'll weigh that in. Oops, right, perfect. Um, 125 mils of milk. So once again, I'm going to weigh that in as grams. What did I say? I forgot already. 125, which is half a cup. I didn't know if I'd have enough milk, but... I'm going to have just enough right here. And 4.5 grams. Of butter so that is that's probably a couple of teaspoons but I'm not gonna this is the one I've been using to this is the little bit I've been using to grease my bread tins so it's actually quite a bit more but that's okay okay a bit of an a bit of an interruption there what we're gonna do now is we're gonna heat it up um, and so I'm going to start off with, um, I was going to use kettle mode, but I'm going to use warm up um, because it will, let's go to 90, warm up, um, because it will stop when it gets to that. Rightio, I will be back um, once this has come up to temperature. Um, so this says it's got to 90 degrees. What I want to know is, is boiling point 100? Because this, it's, this is not actually boiling, but that's as hot as it can go. So what I think I'm going to do is stop it. Um, and I was worried about kettle mode um, overflowing. So, and it's 100 degrees. So let's, let's put it on kettle mode and see what happens. And we can stop it because we just want it to be hot. Um, you know how milk boils over if it gets too hot on the stove. I'm just, I don't know what would happen if we boil the milk over on top of my, all over my thermomix. Yep, here it goes. Radio. So that was 95, and that's, that's, um, bubble. Radio. So now what we're going to do is we're going to and bring to the boil and then add contents. Might need a pair of scissors. My 
drawer under the under the seat, under the here I've got my cutlery drawer and then my utensils drawer. I think that's um, how most people um, sort out their kitchen. Um, everything I use all the time ends up at the front and everything else ends up at the back. So works out quite handy really. Alright, we're gonna dump that in there. This was on special for $1.25. Um, a bit clumpy. Oh yeah, it says. Now it says to stir continuously um, and simmer for seven minutes. So what we're gonna do is we'll go back to here and we're gonna go seven minutes. So we might have to do it a bit longer than that. Um, and we'll go 95 degrees. And we're gonna put the blade in reverse and then on the stir speed. Righty yeah. I'll be back in seven minutes and we'll see if we need a little bit more time because the seven minutes doesn't start until it comes back to the boil on this recipe. Now I don't want to do it too fast because we don't, don't want to stir it too fast because we don't want to um, chop up the pasta. So I've got it on reverse and on the slowest speed. Um, right yeah, I'll be back after the seven minutes and we'll see where it's at. Right yeah, that's the seven minutes. So we'll just stop it and we'll have a look. I do remember this used to um, would thicken up and keep cooking once I'm just I've got a little bit of sauce powder on top uh, once it was cooked, once it was finished. So what I'm going to do is we are going to give that I reckon let's give it another couple of minutes because the seven minutes wasn't supposed to start until it came back to the boil. So that's very runny. Um, so what I think we might do is I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna actually gonna take this off and we're gonna give it another two minutes. At 95 degrees. Lower speed in reverse. Right here. And then we're back to look at it then. Okay, that was our two minutes. So that still is a little tiny bit runny. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the pasta. That's hot. I'm going to give that another two minutes and I think that'll do. That's just a little bit um, floury, the pasta. It's a bit crunchy and floury, so. I probably needed to, let's just give it one minute. I probably needed to keep an eye on it to see when it came to the boil and then set my seven minutes. Right here. 95, slower speed, in reverse, and I'll be back. Right here, that's our minute. I'm gonna put that in a bowl, and then we're gonna leave it to sit um, for another minute, and then we'll come back and have a look. Okay. Right here, so that's sat there for one minute. That's it there, that's, the sauce is coating that really well. So let's see how it, um, if the pasta's cooked. I'm not gonna do it, cook it any more than this because we don't wanna end up with, um, with mush. Yep, I'd call that a success. Um, so I think when I did it, if I did it, do it again, um, I'll do it with the lid off. I won't leave the measuring cup on. I won't do that. It's cleaning at the moment. Um, and I would not start the timer until I, until it comes back up to the boil. Right, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a thumbs up and pop over to my channel and subscribe. And I really hope I'll see you next time.